Hello and welcome to the One Stop Co-op Shop stream, your one stop for co-op news and playthroughs. And today we're playing through Marvel Champions. What's up, Terrence? How's it going? Uh, survived another week, so feels good. Made it to Friday, and yeah, a little worried because Kind of the Rings is next week, and I feel not super prepared for it, but a little more than Colin, Stephen, Barron. So I guess I got that going for me. I mean, let's be honest. You have all weekend to build decks. You'll be fine. I mean, I've been building decks for like a month, so. I mean, but, seriously, you've been building decks for a month, and you're like, "Oh, I'm totally not prepared." Well, I don't. I haven't like finalized. Like, there's people in the the Discord who are like, "I got my seven decks packed and ready to go like two weeks ago," and I'm still like putting around trying to get my stuff set up. So. I think you'll be okay. Um, but yes. So the only little piece of news I have is that I did finally get COVID for the first time. Uh. I, I dodged the bullet all along, but now, uh, of all places, at a work meeting, uh, yeah, which maybe it's not a good idea to get a thousand people together. Who knows? Uh, I, I went to Gen Con. I went to Con of Heroes. I went to all this stuff. Was totally fine. Go to uh, PAX last year. Uh, yeah, go to a work meeting. COVID. Well, to be fair, the board game things had masks, so they had that going for them. Yes, and my work meeting definitely did not mandate masks. And I was wearing masks part of the time, but not all the time, clearly. Uh, which is, yeah, it's a thing. So we'll see. Thankfully, so far, I haven't heard of any of my other coworkers who have gotten it, which is weird. Because uh, I feel like I was one of the more safe people. But what are you going to do? Yeah, sometimes you just get unlucky, right? Yep, yep, yep. But I'm on the antivirals or whatever, so uh, I don't know. Is that the Pax Lovid stuff? I have no idea. something else? I don't know. Nine Downs here says, good evening, all. Sorry to hear that, Peter. Yes. So the only reason I'm mentioning things is because clearly my voice is a little bit more husky tonight than it normally would be. And if I'm sneezing or whatever, um, I apologize for all of that. Uh, today is really day one of symptoms. Well, last night I, I started feeling symptoms. Uh, I just flew in last night from my meeting. So guess what, work? I will not be doing you for a week. So, uh, yeah, seven days of non-working now. So I got that going for me. Is that just seven days of Marvel Champions? Just kidding. I will be um, I will be streaming more this week. That is for sure. I don't know what I'm doing yet, but uh, depending on how I'm feeling each day, I definitely will be streaming more. Get Coffin Peter on stream. <coughs> Speaking of which. Uh, all right. So you were the one who came up with this, although I guess... You saw me with my uh, Black Widow deck, and you're like, oh, I'll make a deck to play with you. I'm going to play uh, Hawkeye. Uh, uh, be, I, I, so, uh, Kenny Hawk from the Marvel Champions monthly podcast uh, was in Austin uh, for a work thing, and so we met, um, and I said that you bring a Shield Widow deck, and what should I pair with it? And he was like, Budapest, obviously, you should play Hawkeye. Uh, so that's kind of what... I mean, doesn't Kennedy uh, Hawk say Hawkeye for everything? Yes. I mean, <coughs> yes. Yeah. So, uh, no. uh, but yes. So, uh, I mean, I love Hawkeye, although I, I do not I feel like him. he has fallen out of favor for you, though. You say that every time, but I I feel like you have, you do not go back to him as much recently. I mean, you really need somebody to do everything but damage. Like, if you're going to play Hawkeye, you really need somebody to protect for you. You need somebody to thwart for you. Like, he's a very needy character. Uh, he's the neediest of the characters, I feel like. Uh, not necessarily the neediest, but he's pretty needy. Um, Once I brought Black Widow, I brought you to carry me. That's uh, Clearly. That's what I did. And I did a Justice deck, but it's a Shield Justice deck, so it's not going to be super fast. Uh, so, Victor Von Doom says, Husky voice Peter, don't go overboard and play till 2 a.m. Yeah, the goal is to not do that. We'll, we'll see. And the funny part is I named this deck Black Widow Won't Flip Over deck. Oh, and starting with Safe House leads to uh, me not wanting to flip over still. But uh, I, I will flip over. I will, Terrence. Don't worry about it. Uh, although I We've started... had this conversation before. Uh, so I could actually Covert Ops on opening hand is not a terrible thing. Do you want? Do you want to be first player? I can be first player. Or do you want me to be first player? 
Um, Does it matter if you're first or not? I guess it doesn't really. It right? doesn't matter, but you're you're not going to confuse turn one, right? No, I I mean, the only reason to potentially for me to be first is in case I draw Marine Hill. Okay, well then you be first. Uh, I guess I'm all getting some stuff. Although I just drew Monica Chang. So all that stuff I said about attacker or covert ops might be out the window anyway. Okay, well, it's cool. Well, uh, so I already have Hawkeye's bow, and I didn't mulligan it because... Uh, you gotta fetch it anyways, I guess. Yeah, you gotta spend something to fetch it, so. I mean, I guess you could, like, see the card, so in theory it's better to mulligan well, the only... it and then draw it. Yeah, well, the only benefit of doing that is you get to see one more card in your deck. Yeah, but it's fine. I have Nick Fury. Let's do that. Nick Fury, draw three cards. Seems not terrible. Uh, put out bow. Well, I guess the other benefit is you could have had a different thing to pay for Fury with and then fetch bow after, like you saw what yeah. you got. So I guess there are yeah. some benefits, but. Um, put out marksman. Of course. Feels real bad what? not to have any arrows though, huh? Yeah, it's fine. Uh, so what do we want Fury to do? Should we just grab the. Yeah. Yeah, so this Hydra is the Patrol? only negative of you going first is can't get rid of it all the way so you could kill whatever comes out. I can. What do you mean? I have Inspiring Presence. What's Inspiring Presence? Heal an ally and ready it. So Fury's going to thwart two and then ready and thwart two more. Oh, okay. So Hydro Patrol goes away. All right, I didn't understand. I, I meant, yes. So you, you got rid of that all by yourself is what you're saying. You're yep. saying, Terrence, you don't need me. Uh, each player searches the encounter deck and discard pile for a Hydra minion, puts it into play, engage with them. All right. Uh, there's nothing in the discard, so I guess we're grabbing from the deck. Yep. So we've got a three life one, uh, piercing and ranged. Seems good for you since you do three damage, right? Yep. Uh, there's a four life one with guard. When defeated, deal the uh, an encounter card, which doesn't seem as good. Another one with guard that does that. Oh, a two lifer within sight one. When the card is revealed. Now, we're not revealing these, right? No, you're putting them into play. So, I'll take the two lifer within sight one. Okay. Seems good. Um, so people are, uh, nine down and Victor are talking about, they get, getting their notice for mutant Genesis, which is awesome. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I, I won't be able to go out to the store and get it this week potentially. So we'll see. I mean, I, I feel like oh, I should be that's, all right. That's by your family, days. right? Send your, send your wife to pick it up. Yes. Go get this, please. Uh, go get uh, this please. So I can stay at home and, and not get everyone sick. Yes. And uh, Think about that, the way, people. that way I can stream this week. I mean, people want to see me stream. <laughs> yeah, but you'll probably you, you'll probably do it on TTS, right? Not. I will, on. but I, I want I need to get the cards to scan in, um, because they're not they're not updated yet. So we'll see. Yeah, I'm hoping that I will be able to pick mine up before I fly to Minneapolis, but we'll see. If not, you'll have to scan them for me from Minneapolis and send them to me. All right. All right. I think I'm done. You're done. So what do you think? Monica Chang or Covert Ops? There's not four threat to remove, so there's that. Ah, good good point, Terrence. All right, so Covert Ops is going here to put Safe House in. I'm going to use Safe House because why wouldn't you I? you have a thing in your discard? I did. Why do you? Of course oh, I did. Acrobatics. Would you please stop messing with me? <laughs> um... Uh, do, 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 do. I think I have to put Attackrobatics in. You don't have to. Well, I, so Counterintelligence will put in my Widow's 
gauntlet. Yeah. My widow's gauntlet. We'll put in attack robotics to draw me a card. That's sad. But that's all right. I mean, I guess I could put in Winter Soldier instead, but no. All right. So Winter Soldier and my energy will play for Monica Chang. And I'm looking for a surveillance team. Do, 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 do. And I will put four counters on that surveillance team. Because that is what we do. Uh, and then I exhaust it to remove a threat from the main. See, I'm just this thing all over the place, Terrence. Look at you. You're like, you're going to be slow. I'm not slow. I'm super fast. She'll take the last. Uh oh, yes. Yeah. She'll take the last threat off the scheme, and I will punch my Hydra regular. And that's what a clean board looks like. Except right. these two extra encounter cards in front of us. I mean, we start with those. We have no choice in that. So I guess we should have talked a little bit about Taskmaster in this game. Uh, oh, revealed... Before we do that, we gotta. We forgot to do the flip. What do you mean? Uh, so I take two. When oh, you flip to hero, you you gotta do boost damage. Force response after evolving. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or no, this one. Force response after a player changes the hero form, they discard the top card and take damage equal to that. So you took two, and I take one. Which seems um, not great. There, yeah, I, I feel like health will be a issue to some degree because we are just both low hit point heroes. Yeah, and I think I'm going to chump for you. I have Nick. Oh, never mind. Well, then I'll probably save Monica to chump for you on a future turn. So let's go ahead and ready up and draw it. Oh, Mary's out there. Didn't realize what time it was. Busy playing cyberpunk. All right. Um, so we are going to add two threats to the main scheme. We are going to then have to either take a damage or place a threat. Which are you doing? Uh, Threat, I guess. All right. I'll take the damage because I'm going to be down more than you. Okay. Um, all right. So Taskmaster is going to then attack you, and you're jumping with Fury, I assume? Yes, I am. That was a good call. <laughs> that was a good call. That three boost, not great. Uh, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to defend. You defending? I okay. am defending. Uh, well, I guess if I don't defend, I can heal three, right? Which seems better. So I'm not going to defend. Two plus one is three. You're just gonna eat that, yeah. I mean, oh yeah, I'm not attack or back. Yeah, not not for one. I would have done it for yours if it was actually on. Well, uh, question: <coughs> you, you don't have a. Um, By the way, this should be at thirty-two. You don't health. have a uh, prep in your hand, though, right? You are correct, sir. So if you're flipping down, do you need that? Well, well you could I, you I need not... counter. You can get you can get counter intelligence as well. That's right. Yep. With with safe house. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So if if I do flip down, I don't have to flip down. Uh, I mean, I got Mana Ch Kachang to defend next turn. Worst case. All right. All right. Go ahead and do yours. This card top coverage attack. Oh. No. 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 That is an attack. So he's going to attack you. So we will be blocking yep. with Monica Chang. There we go. Shadows well, of the Past. Boom, boom, boom. So our new thing is we drink when Shadows of the Past is discarded. So everybody drink. I am drinking Gatorade. All right, and what was your second one? An attachment player. Yeah, attacks. it's the one where he like reflects damage back at you. So hopefully it's not my three damage attack. Um, yeah, we can figure something out. Hydra uh, Hunter attack yeah, scheme. Yeah, kill him. Yep, there you go. Villain schemes. So scheming for two, plus the boost of two more. Oh, that's sad. I like these. They get us free allies. Oh yeah, they're super good with uh, make the call. Yeah. Seems good. 
Because it's like anyone's discard pile, right? So I don't even care if you get them. Yes. No, that's that's very true. All right, there is seven threat on this game, so I probably won't go down. Although I got the thing that prevents three from being added, so who knows? Uh, which means that would that's basically... Okay. You have surveillance team. Should that have... Oh, no, no, no. You mock and chang it in. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, I'm first player, right? Yep. Yeah, so... I can obviously one-shot the Hydra Hunter, so I'll probably do that. I mean, I have two Dance of Deaths, which I don't really need. What's Agent 13... She's on that ready to support. I mean, she's real good. So, like, that. yeah, so you can basically use safe house more than once, which is pretty good. Um, I don't need that this turn. So the question is, government liaison and quake, maybe? Well, you flipping down is, I guess, the big question, because you also would get card draw. So if you're not doing anything on a hero side, then I would flip down first. I mean, is seven threat too much? Should I... Seven out of 24? Yeah. All right. So I'll flip down. Then I'll heal. Recover for three. Then I will uh, do this to pull out... do 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 do, -do. Counterintelligence. Um, then I will pay one... Two for counterintelligence, which lets me draw a card. Okay. Homeland intervention. Oh, it's not a hero action. Did you know that? Yes, I did. I did not know that. Huh. That's, uh, that is why shield is good, uh, in that respect. It's also not a thwart, so you can't trigger any of the thwart stuff, but, um, unfortunately, yeah, you, I... need to, you, you, you do need to have the stuff out to exhaust for it yeah so i got government liaison and agent 13 will pay for i'm sorry dance of death and agent 13 pays for government liaison and then i guess i do homeland intervention and government liaison to pay for quake right sure unless you want to thwart what do you mean unless i want to thwart Oh. You could thwart before, but it's fine. Could I thwart? Oh, because of these two? Yeah. I mean, I have more Homeland Interventions. I believe I have three of that. That's the only card I think I have three of in this entire deck, if I'm not mistaken. Um, do you want me to do the two damage to get rid of this thing? You would take two damage? Sure. Mm -hmm. I, don't have any, uh, I don't have anyone lower, so... All right, so I would take the two damage? Yeah, you would take two, because it's the player. Player's identity, identity. yeah. yeah. Well, and then I could just heal that up next turn before flipping up. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so then I'll thwart for one, just because I can. Okay. Uh, I think that's a good. Um, I will kill your dude. Thank you, sir. Uh, I think I'll have a really simple turn where I'll just put in Helicarrier and then and put in this other one. I mean, let's be honest, you haven't gotten any arrows yet, <laughs> which is... I got the one arrow that got discarded. Yes, as as your let him attack you event, which is I awesome. have three arrows in my discard, I think. Oh, yeah. ah, okay. Um, but so counterintelligence... It's not important to prioritize, I think, in the early game. Yeah. Counterintelligence can be played from my... Uh, alter ego side the only negative is i don't get the one plank damage yep. if i'm on this side so it's something to think about but i still uh, here think we go. I'll, I'll do it quiver oh you got your quiver sweet uh, so i do draw six cards which is nice Ooh, and i got my crew quarters which is super nice um yeah this is i, I like all of what's in my hand right now <laughs> all of it makes me happy all right, so we're going to add two threats to the main scheme. Then, uh, do, 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 do. So after resolving step one, um, I'll take the damage. Well, will I? Right now, I'll heal to full. So I'll add one threat, and you're going to add one? Yep. Okay. Then Taskmaster will scheme against me. Schemes for five, which isn't great, but I will prevent three of that at least uh, to only make it two. Okay. 
And then he attacks uh, you. Yeah. Do you want Are me... you keeping Quake? You... I, can, I can block with Quake if you want. Sure. So, I mean, since you're going to be killing no. my minions. Uh, I mean, Quake is around for solo to take out minions while I'm down. But in multiplayer, I don't mind chomping her off. So, all right. Ooh. Resolve this when revealed. Uh, deal one damage to the friendly character with the fewest remaining hit points. If that character is defeated this way, repeat this effect. Does that mean that, that, that kills Quake, so you take the you take two to your identity. Is that true? I guess so. So does the boost go first? Yeah, you resolve boost first. So wait, so that goes there. And now it's undefended. Well, no, but you now it goes it again, again, right? So you go down so a that four. That goes on me. And you take a two. Do I take two? You take two from. Is that from how it works? That seems yep. weird. That seems wrong. I'm pretty sure that's how it works because it's undefended Ooh. at the point because that person died, right? Yeah, I guess. All right. Well, that doesn't make me happy. All right, where are we at? Uh, counter cards. Yep. So I do have another surveillance team. Although, I could just wait for Monica Chang to come back. You, you gonna get yours? Why are you worried about my brother? Oh, look, it's Crossfire. Uh, Crossfire's crew. Uh, when controllers attack would deal any amount of damage to a character, increase that amount by that character's attack. That's not wonderful. All right, you. Surge. Well, that's not also not wonderful. Oh, cool. Ready, hero, ally. So you got to spend a while to ready yourself. Well, huh. Oh, mental. I mean, thank God you got your quiver. Hopefully you can do some stuff. All right, your first player, though. And I'm just hoping not to die here because this is a little ridiculous. Top five? By the way, I'm going to use... What do I want here? Some, something, right? To get my counterintelligence. Um, What now? The only thing I have is explosive arrow. For some reason, I felt like Safe House healed me. Nope. <coughs> I mean, you could stun. You also have Mockingbird, which... And Endurance, all of which are good. Are you staying down? I was not I'm just planning putting on out staying another, down. just another counterintelligence out? I mean, I am going to put the other counterintelligence out, but I was not planning on staying down. But if you think I should, then I will. Well, I'm just wondering with your two health. So you heal for four, so that gets you to six. Yep. Yeah, I mean, we could have just scheme, and that way you could just take care of yours. Is that what you're thinking? Yeah, I just don't. I just can't do like being exhausted really hurts me here for being able to do stuffing, right? We could do explosive arrow. And yeah, I was thinking about doing explosive arrow and putting out mockingbird to yep. kill my dude. Yep, that's exactly what I would think you would do. I mean, it'd be nice to get the stun in, but... I think you'll be okay. I guess these, these are all upgrades, technically, I guess. There we go. So, he takes three, as does Mr. Fear, and then Mockingbird does the other two. Did you just say Mr. Fear? Yeah, Mr. Fear. Oh, you meant Taskmaster. That's... Yeah, yeah. I, I thought you were calling Taskmaster Mr. Fear. I see no, now this, that Mr. Fear, Mr. Fear is Mr. Fear. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I, I am now on the same page as you. All right. So I am then not flipping up this turn. So I am still. Well, I don't know. I guess it depends on what you draw, right? To some well, degree, but. I mean, this deck to some degree is meant to not flip up. So I'm not sad about not flipping up. So um, are you hard paying for counterintelligence and well, drawing? First things first, I'm going to pay for another surveillance team, I think. Um, and then I'll pay grappling hook to put down this, right? Because I can pull grappling hook next turn. What do I care? Oh, I guess I could pull whatchamacallit again too, though. I feel like surveillance team's important. Um, when I do that, I get to draw a card. 
Oh, shield logistics. So, crew quarters I'm paying for with a double resource. Right? Uh, yep. he healing myself one, and then we'll global logistics. Do you know you can government liaison actually your surveillance team in? Oh, I could have. If you want to. Well, it's too Math late. that out. Um, it's fine. And now I have three things, so I can get rid of all six, right? No, Global Logistics is look at the top four. You exhaust one. Oh, never mind. So you can just exhaust Government Liaison to look at the top four cards of the deck. So you can make the boost, like, pretty sad. And what do I do with it? So, let me see this. I, I haven't even paid attention. Exhaust a shield card you control. Look at top four cards of the player deck or encounter deck. Discard any number. Put the others on top or bottom in any order. Like, you can make this the your boost, right? Because you can prevent all three. Right. So I'm second player. Uh, or 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 caught off guard. I guess like, do you care? Do you care if you discard an upgrade? Kind of do. Like if you discard a uh, a prep attack or Maddox or something. Yeah, I mean, because the alternatives we could also take the Hydra Soldier, right? So I see what you're saying. Yeah. So yeah, this will be the fourth card. So that means we got to keep then, all these in. Yeah, and then I and then with um, Mockingbird, I don't care what my boost is, right? Okay. So I'm just that's going to be card it. one. That's going to be your boost. This is going to be my boost. This is going to be your card, and this will be sure. my card. And that, Does that seem was okay. Almost the order it was anyway, <laughs> but that's okay. Uh. <coughs> All right, uh, and then I'll surveillance team twice. Take two more off. Yep. And then, yep, I guess that's it. All right, so ready up, draw up. Ooh, I have a helicarrier and a fury. And a nice. homeland intervention, which seems good. And another global logistics. Oh, and my synth suit. I like all of these things. Um, okay, so uh, we are going to add two threats to the scheme, and then I guess we add two more. Let me think. Actually, I can take the damage, because that'll get me... Oh, I didn't crew quarters last turn, or did I? So I would have been at seven. Well, I'm definitely taking the damage then. Wait, wait, I was at two, and then I had a four. That would have only been six. I just forgot to exhaust it. Um, so now it's correct. Okay, uh, you're going to add a threat, I assume? If you're okay with that. Yep. I mean, I've got Homeland Intervention now. Nice. I mean, with all these, you know, shield stuff. Yeah, I mean, I guess the nice part about the safe house is when you're not an alter ego, you can use it for Homeland Intervention. Yep. Um, so it's still not a dead card, or for um, Global Logistics. So it makes it not a dead card, which is good. All right. So uh, we added the threat. Attack. He's attacking me. Yep. With the three boost, we already know you're pulling Mockingbird back to take zero damage. I am getting schemed on plus one, which is three. We're going to discard counterintelligence to prevent all three of that. We do add two here, though. All right, draw your card. We already know what it is. We already know what mine is. That's kind of nice. I mean, so that's the one where any amount of damage gets rid of it and it gets yeah. pushed back. Uh, when revealed, yeah. discard an upgrade or support you control. I'll get rid of attack robotics. And we're done. Yep. Sadly, I can't Maria Hill you. Yeah, that's okay. One, two, three. We're going to crew quarters for one more to get me to nine. <coughs> I assume I'm actually flipping up this turn. Uh, Yeah, you will take damage from that. Uh, let's see. I'm going to safe house my... Well, do you want me to take electric arrow or sonic arrow? Confuser stun. 
I would think stun. Okay. I assume we want me to take counterintelligence instead of grappling hook. That's a tough choice. That's you ever... up to you. Are you. It depends if you're flipping up, I guess. I am. I was planning on flipping up. Well, I guess. I think grappling yeah. hook. Because I have homeland intervention. So I think it's fine. Okay. So I'll get grappling you're hook. You're playing that now to draw? Yep. So I'll spend these two to grappling hook to draw a card. Widow's bite. I don't know that I need to play widow's bite. We'll see what happens. Oh, I have two widow's bites. Probably going to pay both of them to get fury out, right? Pay both of them in government liaison and logistics, I guess. Seems very expensive. Or do I not do Fury and just do helicopter, helicarrier? Well, Fury draws you three cards that you can then use to pay helicarrier. Well, I also have my suit, don't forget, which I would also well, cost three. That's I mean, is suit, suit or helicarrier more important for you? I feel like I do helicarrier and suit both and say, forget you, Nick Fury. Which seems weird, it's right? Fine. But I, that's fine. You do helicarrier and then government liaison and put suit in. So yeah, one, two, three to get helicarrier in, right? Yeah. Oh, you got it. We're gonna you flip. Are you flipping up this turn? Oh yeah, yeah. All right. Let me draw your boost. One. Take okay. damage. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't homeland intervention. Oh, Cinder For... says the main team only applies to heroes and not alter ego. So we've oh. been cheating the wrong way. All right, well, that is good to know. Each player in hero form. Yep. Well, I think I think I added one extra threat, and I took one damage, which didn't hurt us. So I took the threat down. That's one. fine. Um. Yeah. So I'm the helicarrier fury and global logistics to put in my suit. I mean, the suit's just too good not to put in. Yeah, um, and then you're you're doing four homeland for four. Yeah, mm -hmm. this doesn't make me sad. How am I doing five? I mean, you can punch for three. Yeah, but that's not five. <laughs> that is not five. You're correct, sir. All right. So government liaison. Can I exhaust your cards for Homeland Intervention or only mine? You control, so no. So the question is, I guess you need your Helicarrier. Never mind. I mean, you can't because... Uh... Well, no, if you would Helicarrier instead of me, then I could have used Helicarrier for oh, yeah, the yeah. two threat removal. But no, you need your Helicarrier after looking. Yeah, I mean, you got Mockingbird to do, too. What do you mean, how are you going to do five? <laughs> All right, so he's dead. Yes. And then why don't you poke with Maria Hill? Right? Get yep. rid of this garbage. Uh, unless you want me to thwart. Nah. Two. Okay. Yeah, get rid of that guard. Oh, well, I guess I am going to poke, potentially, with Grappling Hook. Well, is Grappling Hook an attack? It's not. Like, your response is not an attack. Oh. Player attacks. Got it. Never mind. Uh, and then electric arrow to do three and stun. I mean, that seems good. I like stunning. <coughs> so Mary says Colossus for her. Victor says... Colossus as well. Uh, Nine Down says Cyclops. Do you have a... Uh, maybe that's what we'll talk about afterwards since next week. Now, you're gone next week, right? So, I'll be... Yeah, I'll be at Con of, Con of the Rings. Um, uh, but I will... Uh, I think I'll be bringing Marvel Champion stuff to Con of the Rings as well. Um, oh, okay. But Colin says that he doesn't think there'll be time for us to play because there's other four-player games he'd rather play, which I don't really understand that sentence. <laughs> Oh, did you already ready up a drop? Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't understand that sentence. Yeah, he was he was like talking to me about like trying to play O Sworn and stuff. Just like, dude, that's gonna. Why would I play like a start of a campaign game? Uh, Touche. Uh, but... All right, so we're adding two threat. Uh, I do have a homeland intervention, so we can add two more. It's fine. Okay. Uh, okay, so then he is going to try to attack me, but he is stunned. I guess it's a she if you watch Black Widow movie. Spoiler alert. <laughs> uh, but I think in the comics it's not a she. Well, it does not look like a she by any stretch of the imagination there. Uh, so what are you going to do? If you uh... want, I can defend for you. Uh, I do have three defense, and I might ready myself in a I have second. Maria Hill and Mockingbird. Do I want... Do I just chomp with Maria Hill for now? Like I said, no, if I that. end up grappling hooking, then I'll be ready either way because of sin suit. Uh, do you want to block? I'll block. It's fine. And hope for an event. So I take one damage. By the way, it makes me sad that these things keep going away. Those free allies are very nice. Yeah, it makes me make the call very sad. Yeah. All right. So wait, did you already take a card before I did? No. Wait, what are you doing? Obligation. Oh. Now, hold on. This is not a treachery. This is mine. Now I'm sad. Uh, discarded preparation card you control with the highest cost. Uh, that's fine. You get a flip down and you have to discard grappling hook. Yeah. I feel like there are worse things in the world. <laughs> yeah. All right. Schemes. It's a little sad. Choose to exhaust a character you control. I mean, Maria Hill. Well, why not Maria Hill? Because Mockingbird can actually do something, right? <laughs> Maria Hill is uh, useless so outside three? of jumping. Yep. All right, it's getting and a little scary. One. It's getting a little scary. I am not doing my, my job here, I feel like, nearly as well as I should. Uh, okay. Are you doing anything first? No. I mean, I can homeland intervention now, but I don't need to. I mean, I guess I will use safe house to get. I think I'm going to get the one that the counterintelligence. So I have two counterintelligence and a grappling hook. Seems good, right? Yeah. Well, while you're doing that, I'm going to see if I have arrows in my top five. Yep. I do. So I will grab the electric arrow. Boogie, woogie, woogie, woogie. Um, do you need me to confuse him? Or would should I stun? I mean, you could confuse and go down. Or you could stun because certainly we'll be up this turn. So the choice is yours, my friend. What are you doing for Thwart and other things? Not nah. I'm, I'm taking You're just six. doing homeland, right? Um. Oh, I'll do crew quarters to get me up to eight. Yeah, I can't use mine. Correct, but I will. I just two... wonder if I should. I just wonder if I should hold my electric, um, because I have arrows in my hand. I mean, certainly, you play the stuff in your hand first. That's like my number one rule of Hawkeye. <coughs> you always play what's so in I, your, your so hand. So I can buy Vranium him for six. Yeah, you could do nine and confuse. Seems not terrible. Yeah, do you but do you want me to um uh like what I guess like I Mockingbird could... could kill him? Yeah. Uh or do you or do you want Mockingbird to thwart? No, I'll kill him. Okay. Cause I don't have any allies right now. So I can't help with that. So Mockingbird's right, killing. So him. Sonic arrow for the confuse. One, two, or I just three. hold the, or I just hold this. Hold what? Like we don't need to confuse this turn, right? What else are you gonna play? Well, I, I could just hit him for three, like, cause I have to exhaust to play two arrows, right? Sure. Oh, do you want my helicarrier? I mean, if you're not using it, I, I mean, I can if I hold Sonic here, I can just group. Use power and all to play crew quarters. I mean, you could have done that anyway. 
Oh, what you're saying is you don't have enough to pay for Sonic Arrow. Is that where we're at? You did. You had a I double resource. That. So that's why I'm confused. So you did six. So what have you done? Hold on. Slow down. I've done six. And All right. Paid for and not confused. So I did three and confused because that's what you said first. I mean, why wouldn't yeah, you? Yeah, so Sonic I just wanted Because <coughs> I have to exhaust for it. Well, I mean, you have to exhaust to attack. What's the difference? Uh, I can hold it for next turn because we don't we don't need the confuse. Yeah, but you literally have the resources, so you'd be holding a double resource and a confuse for nothing, right? Um, all right. So I'm gonna do these two to pay for grappling hook. Draw a card. Ooh, wow, well, they're already confused. So never mind. Well, I don't have to play Arrow right now. I no, it's all right. It. No, it's fine. Because Arrow, Arrow would do five. <coughs> if he's already confused. Seriously, it's fine. We'll we'll just stick with it. So, but you didn't use your Helicarrier, right? No. All right. I mean, if you're playing on playing it, I, I should play mine second. Is all. Well, for the I mean, I just drew Covert Ops. Plus, it's very expensive. So, don't worry about it. Um. So, Homeland Intervention. I'm going to do one, two, three to remove six. And then are either of these, well, I'm definitely doing Covert Ops and which is better. After a boost card is turned up, cancel the boost. When you reveal a encounter card, it discards by, eh, I don't need that. Yeah, grabbing hook is just better. Yes. Uh, and then I guess I'll use the other counterintelligence to pay for a target Yeah, required. play target card. Yep. Uh, oh, well, no. Hold on. We have two freaking helicarriers. So do I hold target acquired and we use our two helicarriers to pay for um, counterintelligence? So we have two of them out? Sure. And I just either hold or discard. It, uh, I mean, I don't know. All right, so I flip up, and I take damage. Take care. Take yeah. two. And then, so what do you think? Keeper, discard, target acquired. I will deck Keep. if I discard, so I won't. I'll hold it so I don't deck myself. All right, so we're adding two. And then, what do you think? Uh, threat? Probably for me, I'll take I'll threat. Um, All right. Well, I two depends. threat. That's fine. Uh, well, now I'll take the damage. All right. And then we are going to have them attack you. Are you going to Mockingbird yep. this? or? No, I'm going to chomp with Marie Hill. Okay. That was a good choice. <laughs> uh, oh, wait, um, do you need me to chomp for you? No, no, no. I'll block for myself. It's fine. Okay. All right. I'm blocking for myself, which is perfect. I block all three of it. And then encounter cards. Actually... Should I have Maria Hill in case someone's getting attacked? I mean, I have grappling hooks, so they're not attacking me. Okay. Then I'll just keep it. Okay. Let's go for it. Yay! There we go. Finally. Uh, so five. All right. And then come on. Yeah, you got Thor for that? Perfect. Uh, good. So I'm grappling hooking this. Just readies me. Gets rid damage of this. Him. Does a plank damage. Sweet. Now this says any amount of threat would be placed on the main scheme. All right. So it doesn't work for the side scheme. Um, all right. So it's all good. I need Thor for five. Player? 
you first, or are you going first? Oh, I guess maybe you should have Mockingbird instead of Maria Hilling would be the only. So that way she would have been fully healthy. That's fine. Uh, your turn, right? Yes, correct. I'm going to make the call. On Maria Hill? Yep. Oh, you have a Sky Destroyer too? You want shield as well? We did double shield. Have you just noticed this? Well, yes. I went leadership shield. Got it. Uh, all right. So we both draw Wait. a card. Is that what we're saying here? Yes. So it's hard because I definitely want to put Sky Destroyer in, right? Wait. I had five cards in my hand. I spent three. All right, so I'm going to spend, oh, my, I, I decked, hold on. So I do get this. All right, I'm going to spend. I assume you're putting Saturday so I spent mine. One, two, three. Oh, well, I guess I'll pay government liaison as my third for Sky Destroyer. When it comes in. Exhaust it to deal two damage. One, two. <coughs> uh, and I think I'm flipping down, right? Is that okay with you? Sure. What right. is, yeah, because I guess you're double counterintelligencing. So I'm going to, yep. So I got two there. And then Colson's going to do two. So let me flip down. Let me go ahead and get. Oh, I only have attack robotics or target acquired. I think attack robotics, right? I guess it doesn't much matter. Yeah, they're both here or up, so. So I'm going to spend this for attack robotics, so which lets me draw one. Ooh, sweet. Then I can spend this for spycraft. And then I spend one, two, three for Colson. Search your deck or discard pile for preparation. I'm going to search my deck for a grappling hook. Hmm. Should okay. I grab the so, ally and not you? Just does, does Oh, matter? wait, but you still have something in your hand, so never mind. Well, the, it's free. The ally is free, right? Well, just sometimes like they'll have tr triggers on when you play them. But all mine are mental as well. Um, all right. Well, I, I can take the last one off with surveillance team, or if you yeah, just want take to it take... off, take it off, take it off. Okay. Boom. So that goes away. So I get one of these. Um, if you play Electra from your hand, spend one of those resources. Wait, do they come to your hand or do they come to your hand? Uh, okay. So what yeah, you're saying. so like, th like that's what I'm saying. Like they have these triggers, so if you happen to have, like, if you didn't have any cards in your hand, yeah, it's fine. I'm not gonna worry about it. Uh, so electro come in and just, just attack for three, just, right? Just yeah, just do three. I mean, I guess if I waited a turn for one more resource, that could have potentially done six. Mm. Whatever. Um. Now wait a minute. I did ready myself with my suit, right? I definitely did. I didn't exhaust it. That was all. Uh, by the way, I have a helicarrier for you if you want it. Oh, you do? Yep. I don't think I need it, but... Yeah, I don't think I need it. Well, then I could have grabbed something else, not grappling hook. Should I have grabbed a one-cost prep? Probably yeah. then, right? Sure. What is bite? Sure. What is bite for helicarrier? Or can you give me your helicarrier? And I do use grappling hook. I would like my helicarrier to play inspiring presence because okay. I would like to well, hold make the mind. call from Rhea Hill next turn. Never mind. Go for it. Okay. Um, I'm gonna throw for four with Maria Hill. 
counterintelligence is max one. Huh. So I'm cheating. Yep. So I'll just throw in your discard pile. Which is... Yep. Good call. Um, Max one per player. I guess I can't play it on you, right? Yep. That is correct. Uh, Although, to be so honest, goes... I searched for it, so I'm going to just change it out for a grappling hook. Because I could have gotten grappling hook and paid for that the same turn. Right? Uh, whatever. It's like too hard to retcon at this point. Uh, well, I'm just doing that and putting counterintelligence in here. Good call, Cinder. I appreciate that. Uh, remove four threat off main. Sweet. Um, I'll get an extra card next turn. Uh, I guess... I don't even want to stun the villain. Uh, Mary says can. Grappling Hook is my favorite Black Widow card, and Manny agrees. It's so good. I totally agree with both of you. It is definitely my favorite card. Do I stun him? Sure. I mean, stun or... and confused, you literally do nothing against either of us. Seems good. And then I'll hit him for three, so six to him. And stunned? I mean, it feels like we're controlling them pretty well right now. So you're done? Yep. So I'll make ready the call. up, draw up. Oh, I get Dance of Death and Fury and Monica Chang, which doesn't seem so good. Oh, wait. Does she grab from discard? Yes. So I can yep. use one of the surveillance teams, then use Monica Chang to... Uh, I definitely am going to use my counterintelligence this turn as well because I've got another one and I can only have one out, which I just learned. <laughs> uh, all right, so instead of adding two threat, I'm gonna counter intelligence. Um, so no threat is added at the beginning here. Then we do have to decide adding threat or taking damage. I'll take the damage. You're gonna add the threat, I assume? Yeah. Okay, then stun and confuse, so neither of us get attacked. We just take cards, right? Yep. Alter Ego, card gain Surge. <coughs> Excuse Insight me. one. Yep, and then what happens when revealed each player in hero form takes one damage and discards a card at random from their hand? That would be you. <coughs> There's a button. This one. This oh, button. is there? Yeah, there's literally discard random card button. It just so happened to be the same card. Oh, this is you. <clears throat> Actually, it might be time to flip, yeah. I will remove it from the game, sir. Nice. Quick strike, which doesn't happen anymore. Crossfire attacks. He attacks the character with the fewest remaining hit points. Hold on. So, does he attack? I assume you only attack when you're in alter when you're in hero form, but I don't know. That's interesting. I think you're right. But because he attacks the one with the lowest, he would actually attack Maria Hill here. But yeah, I don't know. All right, your first player. We will. Oops, you're not ready. I don't know what I was doing there. I was trying to hit your first player button. We'll blame it on COVID. Stupid COVID. Huh. Uh, what am I doing here? Okay. I will, I guess I flip up and hope I don't get hit in the face. Well, I'll crew quarters you. That's very kind of you. Go for it, sir. All right. Now, hold on. That doesn't get shuffled back in. We do add an acceleration. So I take one. And then I will search. 
searching for an arrow. Did you get one? Explosive? I mean, seems that would hit good, right? yours and the boss, which always seems good. So for three and three. I'll do the three up here. Um, should I just use Marie kill kill him? Go for it. And then you make the call. Yeah. Seems good. So we both draw a card. Yeah. Let me know if you need my helicarrier, by the way. Uh, I wouldn't say no because I can put Avengers Tower in play. Go for it. Feel like giving you a card for Hellcare seems like an okay trade. Bless you. Thank uh, you. Marie Hill will port for another two. Yep, seems good. And yeah, I guess I'll just hold my handbird at this point, and probably my vibranium. All right. So of these cards, I feel like counterintelligence is the most useful one. So I'll do that first. Draw a card. Ooh, grappling hook. That makes me happy. Then I will flip up. Oh no. Then I will heal. Then I'll flip up. One. Um. So I guess I thwart two and attack three. Yep. So that's thwart two. Attack so you're three them. advances it. Deal each player an encounter card. Okay. Uh, 34 health. Doesn't seem so bad. Nope. Do I Fury or Monica Chang? Is this like one of those why not both moments? Well, because I got two allies here. sure uh all right well let's let's do this one at a time one two three four put fury in put fury in let's start there i mean you always just replace one of them right and then i punch for two with this I mean, do I punch for four more and just do six damage? Oh, no. Yeah, I'll just draw three cards. So, I do punch for two, though. with uh, Well, not punch, but Sky Destroyer for two. I mean, I guess in theory, I could hold on to Monica Chang. We'll see what happens. Um, well, maybe I Homeland Intervention here, right? Two, four. I guess I just do the four. That's all you uh, have. Yeah. Uh, I mean, unless you play Monica yeah, and fine. replace Colson or something. Nah, that's fine. I'm going to do Dance of Death. I don't think I need Covert Ops. One, two, or one, two. Grappling uh, hook. Grappling hook's so good, though. Yeah. All right. Two dance of death. She does a total of six damage. One, then two, then three. That's one, one, two, one, two, three. By the way, dance of death is so good against uh, Venom, <laughs> where you do one extra damage for each attack. Uh, so I hold Monica Chang, and I you target acquired. Unless you want global adjust. Oh, you have nothing to exhaust. I have nothing to exhaust. You, you have fury. Yeah, I, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I mean, super good though, right? You get to see the top four cards. Eh, that's fine. I'm not worried about the top four cards. All right. Punch for two. I'll hold on to Monica. I feel good about all that. Uh, I draw four cards. I have global logistics, by the way. Again. 
and Homeland Intervention. So and oh, and Agent Thirteen, which also seems very good right now. All right, so we're gonna add three, but I will get rid of counterintelligence to make it zero and plink for one damage. Then he is going to attack you. I will block with fury. Okay. I mean, why not, right? Seems like the right choice. And then gonna attack me. I'll block with Colson. I just want Colson in my discard, honestly, because I'm about to shuffle. Okay, and I can still block if we need it. All right, go ahead and draw a card. Don't we'll tax you. Uh, I'll let's see. I got. Sure? I'll defend and then I'll acrobatics to ready myself. Right. So you tax for three. Okay. Plus one. Not the best at acrobatics, but that's all right. It's still two damage and readies me. Right. Seems sure. not terrible. One two. And ready. This is exhausted. All right. Did you do your second card? Uh, what's this? When they get attacked? Or, yeah. Looks like a job for Maria Hill. The villain attacks you. Huh. Um, should I just block with Electra and then you can make the call on her? I don't have any more make the calls uh, until I shuffle, but I have nine cards left in my deck. What's happening? He's attacking me. I guess I could cancel it with uh, grappling hook. Did I just do that? I feel like there's a Shadows of the Past in here. Is the only negative. I mean, I could just defend it. That's up to you. Uh, do you I mean, do you want me to jump for you? I mean, I could also just jump Electra, like I said. I mean, she's a free one. And I'm going to shuffle before you. So, yeah. I'll just jump it. Just the three. Insight one. Each player in hero form takes a damage and discards a card at random. Nah. We're not going to do that. We'll grappling hook that. <laughs> Sounds terrible. Well, and... I mean, it's not that bad, but... Uh, well, it's just like two cards. You know? Yes. I don't know. I mean, that's why I saved my grappling hook. All right. <coughs> so I am first player. Yes, you are. Um, do, 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 do. All right. So I'm going to use one of my surveillance teams. To remove a threat. Oops. From there, I am going to. Do you need your helicarrier this turn? What so, are you thinking? Well, I'm thinking I'd love to get Agent Thirteen and Monica Chang. I don't think it's possible. So I got government liaison, helicarrier, and. Agent 13, I guess I pay. To get Monica Chang in. She gets my surveillance team back. Along with 17 other cards, which doesn't seem like the right idea. <laughs> uh, so this one would get four, but I'll put it down to three. Oh, no. Uh, and this one goes up to two. Both of which seem good. So that is... Uh, damage. Yep. Yep. So I can Sky Destroyer for two. Are we taking them out this turn? Uh, Monica gonna do them the, the photogenic the one sure and yeah. I'll take the damage photographic reflexes yes yep so I'll take the one damage do we are we killing them this turn can can we I mean I can't I can do how much two how much more can you do two, two more Um, so I'm going to do this. So what I do, nine. So I put this in. Mm 
I'm going to do this for four damage, or for four threat removal. We can kill him this turn. With just my two? Yep. Okay. So I do two. I was going to say I'm going to global logistics, but if I don't need to, I don't need to. I can save my action in case you don't kill him. All right. So I'm going to open with a uh, Vibranium Arrow. Which is six. So six. I do another three. Okay. Well, actually, before I, I don't uh, subtract my three for now. Okay. Uh, Nick Fury does, what, another four? Yep. And then one, three, five, eight between all my allies and myself. Yeah, so it's two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, you didn't even need all that damage. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. Alrighty, so y'all ready for some fanciness? That's that's the real question. Watch this. Boom. We got a new end screen. I know Terrence is looking because he hasn't seen this yet. Um, I mean, there's like a massive delay for me, right? Um, it'll 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 be coming up soon enough. But yes, so we've got. Uh, I should look up who made this for us and totally thank them again. Uh, do 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 do. See, now I feel like we haven't started the post scream discussion. All we've done is thanking people. Uh, do, 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 do. All right, so Marcel C. Thank you, Marcel C., for making this neat uh, end screen for us so we can have our post stream discussions. Um, yeah, so. Black Widow and Hawkeye worked out pretty well, even though neither of us were really thwarty. I, this wasn't really a thwarty scenario. In my solo game, it is actually very thwarty. <laughs> what do you mean? Like you needed to thwart more than you could? I, I just got a lot of... I got a lot of those... Uh, I got a bunch of side schemes out. Oh, uh, okay. And I just got unlucky with the uh, boost guards, you know? Like like five, like five, five boosts on a single... You know, three boosts on a single scheme is a lot. Yes. Uh, and then if you're taking, you know, you don't have a lot of health too, and he does the Taskmaster flip thing. So, like, you're most likely, if you're playing Hawkeye, going to not take that damage. So, you're going to put it on there. And so, you get up to 12, like, fairly quickly. And, you know, like, the five is great that you get that ally, but it's not, it's not, not a little threat, right, to get those. Well, you don't have out. to get rid of them, though. Like you could yeah, but they, they do accelerate, right? So like oh, you don't I, have I to get rid of them, but they are increasing the threat. Yeah. And so, uh, I got lucky though. Like I managed to, I gambled a bit because I was like, I'm gonna lose if I don't do something. So I like did one of those like inspiring presence Maria Hill moments. Yep. Uh, and then thwarted myself to then get an ally, and I got White Tiger, which is a zero attack three thwart person, and so I was able to like put her into play, and then like. I like eked by on like a single threat from losing on, um, uh, but then I was able to like make the call white tiger in back into play a bunch of times. And so I had like a pretty good border. Nice. Oh, so you have white tiger in that deck. We didn't see her this. Game. No, no. White tiger's one the captured. So I got like, oh, I basically gotcha. was gambling on like what, like if I got Electra, I would have been screwed. Cause she like thwarts her one. Right. Well, same with the one I got. Uh, he's also, a one well, the one you got was Electra. Oh, Yes. Yeah, there's Electra who thwarts for one, and the other people thwart for two, Moon Knight and Shang-Chi, and then White Tiger thwarts for three. Thwarts for three, yeah. All right, so I think we're going to do some X-Men discussion tonight, right? Um, without yep. spoiling too much, because I haven't read a lot about it. Uh, so Mary I, says, I feel like that will make it a very limited discussion. Well, let's just talk about X-Men in general, not necessarily the... I guess you, you have seen some of it, though. I've seen some of the campaign, yeah. so we could talk about the, at least the first mission of the campaign a little bit. And uh, we could also and talk about... You saw about Colossus and Shadowcat. Shadowcat. And I've heard about who's coming, at least limited. But we could also just talk about our favorite X-Men stuff and whatever else. Maybe we just have a little, you know, fun X-Men discussion just in general as we get ready to start this new wave. Um, so Mary says fancy, by the way, as far as the background goes, you see it now, right, Terrence? I do. 
Yeah, look at that. It's all fancy. Uh, and then Mary says, Peter, we're doing a four-person stream for X-Men. I'm not sure about that. Um, Terrence isn't going to be here next week. Maybe the week after would be a good week to do it because everything would probably be officially implemented in the mod. But Mary, if you want to play something next Friday, um, maybe we try to get X-Men done next Friday. Uh, just a two-player stream. Let me know if you're up for it. Um, and then I think we'll ask Brant, who is also in the chat, um, and Mary if they want to come back the week after. And we'll do a four-player. What do you think about that, Terrence? Yeah, Sabretooth might be long, though, for four-player. Uh, but maybe we don't have to pick an X-Men thing. I don't know. I mean, settle down, Terrence. Uh, yeah, so Sabretooth is long. So for those who don't know anything about Sabretooth, I don't know. Should we put a spoiler warning here? Let's have other discussion first. Then we'll get into uh, what we actually know. <coughs> so... Terrence, do you have a favorite X-Men? And I'm not talking about just the one announced. Like, of all the X-Men. Of all the X-Men... Uh, I don't know if I have, like, a favorite favorite. Uh, I feel like there's a lot of, like, pretty good ones. Like, I definitely feel like Wolverine was really cool as a kid, but I felt like everyone thought Wolverine was cool. I still think Wolverine's um, cool, by the way. I am... <laughs> I am. Uh, that'll be the spoiler for my next question. But yes, which other ones? Uh, uh, how much have you you've read stuff on Wolverine, Rennie? So well, he's so not super spoiler. I, I know he takes damage to do stuff. I mean, it, I, I'm pretty sure, and he probably. I, has I'm some curious what you think about the stuff. ruling for his claws. If you've read that much, didn't somebody say like they're supposed to start in play, but like somebody could pull them out of play, and then that's stupid. They just start in play. Like bottom line, like I don't know all this stuff that could accidentally get pulled out of play on the first turn with Ultron or whatever else. Yeah. That's stupid. Just put him in play. Well, I, I think it's not even the Ultron thing. The controversial thing is his, the cost of the clause is like a null. Like it's a dash. It's not right? zero. Right. That's it's not the zero. Uh, and then it means you can draw it into your hand. So it, you technically can't play it. Right. I think that's like the, the well, ruling. It's confusion. stupid is what it is so bottom line is we're gonna put in uh i would start with it in play i mean you start with it in play or just play it for zero i would start with it in play because because the setup says to actually pull it right so like technically right. it's like one of those cards that you would get yeah you can't you can't not have them i don't know it'd be stupid like i don't know what the claws uh, do but i did see that discussion or whatever and it's stupid no, put them in play to start the game. I think I heard uh, it on Marvel Champion Monthly is where I heard, and then I stopped listening because I didn't want to get spoiled. Um, all right, so some of the people yeah, the I, I think they actually they ruled the other way where like you just you can play it for zero and you just get one less card. Yeah, maybe that's fine. Whatever the ruling is, I'd play it that way. But I feel like you just put it in play, and it's fine. Uh, so Brent says scenario one and five are the longest three and four are pretty short. Uh, well, I don't think we're going to start with three and four before we officially play you and me through the whole campaign. Um, so, I mean, we might play one, but I doubt we'd skip ahead. Cause first of all, I haven't played through any of it yet. Um, but thanks for the heads up on that. Brent Victor says he'd go beast or arch archangel for his favorite. Uh, Mary uh, says it's I a toss up between nightcrawler and beast for her. I think Gambit's up there for me. I felt like he was always pretty cool with the the cards that you throw that he can kinetic energize. You know, I don't think I've seen enough Gambit to really know what Gambit does. Um, I, I mean, I, I he, understand. He can see, like, infuse any object he touches with kinetic energy, and then they, like, he can throw them and they, like, explode. So he usually has, like, a... He's, like, a... You know, he, like, grew up on this... I don't know how grew up, but, like, he's, like... He has a history of, like, from the... Being in the, like, swamp and streets of New Orleans kind of thing. And he usually will carry, like... He has his staff, but then, like, as a weapon. But then he carries usually, like, a pack of cards. Like, a deck of cards. And then he will basically throw, like, cards out that are kinetically infused. Yeah. So, Brand uh, says, if they end up not in play, you can just scoop and draw again. So, it's pretty moot unless you were doing a tournament. I totally agree, Brad. Like, that's why I said, just put it in play. Like, I, I don't know what we're talking about here. 
Uh, Mary says you got to watch the '90s cartoon. I thought I feel like I did watch it, and I feel like he's definitely a major character in the '90s cartoon because he... he has like a a thing with like Rogue. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I felt like I used to watch it all the time. Like I don't know, it's it's weird. Um, but I I have very little recollection of it, so maybe I didn't watch it as much as I thought I did. So in '90s, I was in middle school and high school. So maybe. Maybe I wasn't watching it as much as I thought I was. Yeah, so for me, I think it's got to be Wolverine. Um, uh, trying to think if there's anybody else. Iceman? Yeah. I, I'm trying to think more personality-wise than, like, special powers. I mean, Nightcrawler was always one of my favorites, too. Um, the way he could just dash back Damn. and forth and... Weren't you just talking about personalities and well, not yes. superpowers? I feel like. You, well, I know. Just I, I, like just contra- on me. I just contradicted myself. Absolutely. Uh, Mary says it's on Disney Plus. Well, with COVID and being at home the next week, maybe I will. Uh, maybe I will end up starting to watch it again uh, just to catch up. Maybe I'll watch it with my kids though, which means not this week because I am isolating myself from my family until, like, I'm yeah. sweating profusely right now. I don't know if anybody can tell, but. Uh, <laughs> Like, it is not warm down here, but I am, like, it feels like I'm in a furnace right now. Um, yeah. I, I think Gambit is kind of like the, the Han solo S type character, archetype, of, like, was in a Thieves' Guild, is sarcastic. Oh, see, that, has that, yeah, like, that good, would, good heart kind of thing. Yeah, that would be, that would definitely be one of my favorites then. So I think, like, like I don't know, like, I was always drawn him because I, I feel like that archetype is always a fun one, you know? Oh, absolutely! Like, like that, that like guy who's like a thief, but then and like is cool, but has a good, good, like good heart and stuff, and uh, you know, eventually, like does the right thing, kind of thing in in the show, right? Yeah. So Brent says beast for him as well. Uh, Mary says she also likes Gambit. Yeah. So they haven't announced Gambit yet, have they? No, I mean we don't even know if he's gonna be in the cycle. Um, I don't know if, but, but I we're... don't think he. I don't think he. He's in the '90s cartoon, but I don't know if he's part of like, like if you were to pick like the if they're if they're going like classics. I don't know if he would make make the cut of like the original X Men team. I feel like Beast and Gambit are gonna be what they're gonna to use to sell the next big box, right? Maybe they're 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 not both in there, but well, I bet Beast's, one of them. Beast is part of the originals. I I feel like they could do it. I mean, Phoenix is another one that's pretty cool, right? Like the whole like rising from the ashes dark. thing. Uh, also, the Dark Force, Dark Phoenix. Well, Dark Phoenix, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, so that uh, Rogue. I feel like Rogue's another one that could be really cool. Yep. Like just like the mechanics and design in that could be really interesting, but well, she I mean, also is a interesting character. Any of the mental ones, I think, would be pretty interesting. Yeah, this is why it kills me that you don't read spoilers, because... Well, I mean, it won't be that long until we get there, right? Like, I don't mind knowing who the heroes are. I just don't want to talk about their powers and stuff. Like Exactly. (laughs) Well, all right. I mean, (laughs) is it in the first four, the powers you want to talk about right now? Yeah. All right, well, we'll be able to talk about it in two weeks. Because I feel like in two weeks we'll do a breakdown of uh, of all this stuff. So, and it looks like Mary is going to be able to play next Friday. So, Mary and I will play. Who knows what we'll play. Maybe we'll. I mean, I don't want to keep playing the first scenario over and over. So, actually, by the time. By the time we have four of us. So, maybe Mary and I will play the first scenario next week. And then maybe the four of us will play the second Are we doing scenario. a campaign thing at some point? We will. Or are we just skipping that for this? We will. No, I, I think we should because the campaign stuff is cool. But I think the four of us will do because all of us will have played through the campaign by two weeks from now, I assume. I mean, maybe not because you're going to be away at the con, but I assume you'll play through it pretty quick. At least you'll play through like we'll probably do the second scenario. So Mary and I will do the first scenario next week, probably. Assuming I even have access to cards by next Friday. That's a problem. Uh, well, I have my copy. I could scan it in. Worst case scenario. And so, yeah, we'll figure it out. But anyway, all right. So of the announced heroes, which one are you most excited to play? 
and without again spoiling too much of mechanics uh i think probably like uh phoenix is pretty interesting for me um she's probably also i think the strongest but i think unlike dr strange her obligation is also nuts so it'll be interesting to kind of see how that I, I'm curious how it works in practice in a game, because uh, like you might not draw shadows, right? So like you might not see it. Uh, uh, but I guess you also draw your obligations, so there's that. But um, uh, she seems, I, I feel like, probably one of the most versatile characters. So I think it'll be fun to, um, as you know, she can fly. So I think it'll be fun to play around with, you know, like the aerial, aerial protection stuff. cards and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Also has a good stat line, so be able to like do anything and ready seems insanely good. Yeah, that that is not bad. Um, yeah, for me it's Wolverine. I like the gambliness of playing with your house as a resource. Now I don't know how easy it is for him to regenerate. I assume it's pretty easy, but I do like just the concept of anybody who's like. Yeah, I mean, probably similar to like he probably heals on average the same amount that Saber Truth does every turn because they both have healing factor. Oh, okay. So it's like a... It's like a flip or whatever to determine. Well, that'd be... Uh, no, it's just literally a straight up two. You get two each each turn. I gotcha. Yeah, I mean, nothing wrong with that. So, um, yeah, it, it's just a, a, a fun playing on the edge kind of a thing. And I, I don't know if I'll love it or not, but it, it seems interesting. Like the concept of, you know, hurting yourself to push yourself further to, you know just live on the edge kind of like a star lord type thing which i know you don't love but i i don't know i think that kind of stuff is fun i like the the characters that like to play on the edge a little bit i mean i i think he'll be super fun i i don't think he is even close to star lord for living on the edge well uh, yeah nobody's I feel like 50 cards. i feel like you get to make like you know how much damage you're taking and going into the next turn when you right. draw a face down card just like this could be this is just yolo like i am right <laughs> i'm playing with fire right here like I, I feel like wolverine's a little more deterministic right like you're like sure. i'm trading this i'm calculating like I, i'm calculating this trade-off right like you're just like gambling <laughs> gambling hardcore with star lord yeah so no. i think it's a little different that's for sure. All right, we're just going to do a little bit more comments here, and then I'm going to call it a night. Um, one of our shortest streams ever, I feel like. Um, all right, so Victor says, I think we got a good chance at Rogue Gambit. Everybody pairing release so far has been a couple. Um, Wasteland says, I would be flabbergasted if we don't get Rogue and Gambit. And then Victor says, Gambit is uh, uh, in a card game. It seems like a gimme. And Mary says, right? Uh Let's see. I've already tried him once, but I'm excited about Colossus, says Mary. Uh, I don't know why, but his tough manipulation shenanigans really interest me. I'm kind of curious how that's going to work. I've been in games with him, but I'm still not exactly sure how he gets tough and what he uses it for. He but has, he, he's, uh, as part of setup, he gets organic steel, which is zero cost, and it has two counters. And when you lose a tough, he can then uh, basically get another one. I think that's how that works. Okay. And he has two copies of that. Uh, and I think what when he flips up, he also gets tough. I think that is true. I don't know. We, we didn't play him. So, like, I am I am trying to recall and guess here. Yeah. From what I remember. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, I, I feel like Colossus is definitely one of those heroes that will be better over time. Because we just don't have that many ways to get tough right now. And I feel like that's going to not necessarily change overnight. But, like, you imagine three, four years you know, in the card pool, right? Like there's just going to be more options to that. And that's just going to make him better. In my opinion. Well, but, and then again, we've talked about it. Anybody that has piercings going to make him super sad. Sure. Um, but it, with those things, maybe when his tough goes away, he can get it back. I don't know. So there, there, it might not be that sad. You just take one attack when you were planning on it. I feel like he's probably going to have a lot of life also. Well, I mean, at that point you can also chomp, right? Like you can have minions to chomp to not, take the piercing right well like sure you can deck build around that's it. true or or you can ask uh uh shadow cat to uh stand in front of it for you well yeah who takes no damage on her one side uh so mary says storm looks pretty awesome too uh yeah i i'm very curious what you will think about storm when you get the pack 
I'm curious uh, what I think but, as well. Uh, I think Storm... one of the things is, yeah, she is, she, as you can imagine, controls the weather. So it is well, Storm to is... see how they've implemented that. Yeah, Storm is pretty freaking awesome too. So, you know, now thinking back on some of my favorite X-Men, Storm is pretty freaking cool and super powerful, right? Which she's also, yeah. Also super also vulnerable. Also flies. Ariel, which is always, I think, <laughs> yep. a fun thing to tap into in this game. Yeah, uh, we haven't like seen, totally and, and, that out. or at least I have certainly not played with a lot of Ariel stuff. All right, so last couple comments. Victor says, yeah, I'm going to make a protection deck for him and be invincible. Uh, for Wolverine, I assume. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, healing. Victor says, I didn't notice his hit points. It's high enough to use those new cards for high hit point heroes. Um it is not, says Terrence. <laughs> All right. Yeah, his printed his print is ten, so he can't use any of the like spider fourteen hit point things that they printed. Gotcha. Cool. Well, I'm excited. I mean, I wasn't excited at first for X Men, but I'm excited because I do know more people that like X Men, so it might just get more people into the game also, which will be nothing but good for every for everybody. Yeah, I, I feel like the only downside is just there's what they say it's like two or three cycles of X Men, right? Is that what Caleb told us? Yeah, or I someone, mean, or they said on the stream, might have been Caleb. I, I feel like I heard it somewhere at Gen Con. I did too. Might have been I, the, I'm not excited the... about that. I wish they would have gone two cycles of X Men, then something else, then go back to X Men if that's really what you wanted to do. But part of it just might be you want to do enough X-Men to flesh out X-Men, like the, the traits. But, but it feel feels like... like even in this first cycle, it's pretty well developed. <coughs> but, um, well, right. I mean, I Guardians... Guess we'll see. Guardians was fleshed out pretty quick. S.H.I.E.L.D. was fleshed out pretty quick. I feel like they could flesh it out within a cycle, a cycle and a half. Like, they don't need... Unless... Well, I, I feel like the problem is, like, you ha you did, like, two, three cycle... Like I was saying, like, two and a half cycles worth of Avengers... Well, and but so... Avengers is just more fleshed out than everybody else. What'll be interesting to see is if... The, well, and I feel like Web Warriors got really fleshed out, even in one cycle. What I feel like they might do is, like, do, like, X-Men, and then maybe new X-Men, or so. I, I don't know, like... Or new, I mean, it's like you new said, though, right? Like, whatever, we, there's so many heroes... There's so many heroes for them to do an X-Men that it's just... If they only could pick eight that's you're gonna piss off so many people yes well that's true but with two uh, cycles they get 12 right or i guess 16 14 i i mean it depends if they go eight and eight i don't know i don't know what they're planning on doing yeah we don't know very much past the cycle so well like, it'll be easy for them to find 16 people to do right oh of course no question about it like you, right. there's gonna be professor x hero right like that <sighs> that has to be a thing right i, I feel like he's gonna be the nick fury card i feel like they make a professor x nick fury like come in does something and goes away i mean there's already an ally an ally like someone played professor x i thought in our game i don't know but we will find out um when he comes out i feel like he'd be better as a nick fury type card though than his own full thing but we're one week away man so super excited about it thanks everybody for joining us we're going to call it a night because uh, I'm going to need some rest. But uh, yep. look for a lot of streams from me this week. I don't know about Marvel Champion streams, but just a lot of streams in general. So I am looking forward to getting some some fun stuff in. Yeah, well, I hope you feel better, man. Thank you. Yeah, I don't feel terrible, but like I'm getting sweats. I got body aches, stuff like that. Uh, I do have shortness of breath. Like when how I'm, how does it compare to the booster? Like, did you have bad side effects from the booster? I didn't. I had like no side effects from the booster. So. Okay. All yeah. the things you described is how I felt every time I get like since the second shot on. I've gotten like two boosters and second shot each. Yeah. All three of those times, I have basically been out for like an entire day or a day and a half. Well, hopefully that's all it is. Um, I hear the third day is the worst, which will be tomorrow for me. But we'll see. I am planning on streaming tomorrow night. We're going to do, I forget, one of those ones we missed. I feel like it's the Ryan Lockett game. Uh, I can't think of the I name of it. I don't even know who that is. Oh, yeah. But anyway, it's going to be a story game. So tomorrow night, I know I'm planning on streaming with Jerry and Mike. 
and then who knows like i said um maybe get some games of spirit island digital in this week um and we'll see we'll see what we'll see what comes certainly looking forward to playing the new x-men stuff though all right everybody thanks for joining us bye bye